Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today it's the March to 10K and you guys, I've got a super simple strength workout designed just for runners. Now today's workout is being brought to you by my girl Amy who made a very generous monthly pledge over on Patreon.com to help out the Paula B Fitness channel. Now if you would like to sponsor your own workout, I would appreciate that a lot and there's a link in the description for you to find out how. Amy, thank you so much. You guys, you are going to need one dumbbell today and like always you can set your own challenge on the exact right amount of weight I've got a warm-up for us and when you're ready for this one you know I'm ready let's go all right you guys let's go ahead and get right to it I've got some great mobility work for us to get started we're gonna get moving and grooving with some big arm circles really starting to open up those shoulders Start getting your arms and your shoulders, your chest and your back warmed up and ready to pick up heavy things and put them back down. So you guys, today's workout is honestly as simple as it gets. Here's a little something I know about runners, having been one myself for 10 years. We are lazy when it comes to strength training. You wanna go run for an hour? Oh my goodness, easy peasy. You wanna lift weight for 10 minutes? Ooh, 10 minutes? Are you sure? Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers as well. I know that when it comes to weight training, we all kind of think that our time would be better spent running, right? Well, I will tell you that the best thing that you can do for your running is to pick up heavy things and put them back down again. Not every day, but you know what? Once in a while, once or twice a week, if you can manage that second time a week, is great for you. It has changed my running from okay and injury plagued, let's go ahead and do some high knees as well, to better than okay, and I'm not even gonna knock on wood when I say something this superstitious. I have not been injured since I started doing strength training, and that's been three years now. I'm holding up five fingers, but that's been three years now. You guys, strength training is the magic pill that makes running better. Now, I know it takes time out of your day. It takes time away from things that you would rather be doing, and that's exactly why today is so simple that you can fit it into any schedule. Let's do some booty kickers as well, because here's the dealio. I have, I'm looking at my whiteboard, I have five exercises. <laughs> we're going to do each one 20 times, and that's it. We're not repeating the circuit. We're not coming back to anything. We're not making it more complicated than that. That's all we're doing. It's enough. Now, I know you might be looking at a workout like that thinking, okay, but is that really worth my time? Yes, it is, if you are consistent with it. Once or twice a week, that's all it's going to take. Let's go ahead and pick up something heavy. We're gonna get things started with something I call overhead to high knees. You know why? Because that weight's gonna go overhead and we're gonna bring it down to some high knees. Yes, I'm gonna count the mean way today. There's one, but that's good for you. <laughs> There's two, and up and down, three. Working on that balance, pulling in that core. There's five, and six. There's seven, that's eight, there's nine. I know it got heavy, didn't it? <laughs> there's 10, weights are supposed to, that's all right. There's 12, we're over halfway done now. We're just gonna keep going. Lucky 13, there's 14, there's 15, 16, 17, 18, there's 19, and that one is 20. Boom. And check us out. Now we're done with overhead to high knees. Coming up next, gonna work that lower body with some curtsy lunges. Now we're gonna have the dumbbell holding it by the horns like this. Gonna take a big step back and to the side. And as we come down, just a little twist. And a little bit of biceps curl too, huh? And twist. Yes, counting the mean way again, that was just one. Going a little bit slower on this one, really taking the time 
to take that big step back and to the side. There's two. Heart rate's gonna come up on this one no matter how fast or slow I go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go slow. <laughs> There's three. Curtsy lunges are the ones that I always feel the next day. So I like to make sure I'm using good form. There's four. This gets your glutes from every single angle. There's five. Working the medius, the minimus, the maximus. There's, nope, not six yet. This one's six. I wanted to count the nice way, huh? We're also getting those obliques with this little bit of a twist. There's seven. And I'm sure you noticed that biceps curl. Get some biceps too. It's a little bit of everything. There's eight. And come on down and up. That one's nine. I know, this got tough very fast. You know that's the thing. There's 10. It sounds like such an easy workout. Five exercises, what? There's 11. But that means that it gets tough quickly. Not gonna take us a lot of time today. So we gotta get a little bang for our buck. There's 12. Way over halfway done. Lucky number 13. You are rocking this. There's 14. Working those inner and outer thighs. Getting a little bit of everything in the lower body. There's 15. Plus we're going to balance. You probably noticed taking that big step back. Whew, there's 16. Really takes some core work, working those abs always. There's 17, just a couple more. That's 18. And up. There's 19, keeping good form the whole time. Chest is up, shoulders are back. And that was 20, awesome job. We're gonna keep holding the dumbbell by the horns but I want you to put your thumbs underneath it because it's gonna go back and around, not on your shoulders. I would like it a lot if you were holding it, like I said, with your thumbs on your shoulders and elbows out as wide as you can. Next up, we're doing good mornings, which is a lot like a deadlift, except we've got the weight behind us. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Gonna pull in that core, your back stays straight the whole time. You're gonna push those hips back wherever you can get to, you and your tight hamstrings, and pull those hips forward. Trust me, I know a little something about that. Push those hips back and forward. There's two. Thankfully, there's only one way to count this, and it's the nice way. There's three, keeping your neck nice and neutral. Elbows out wide. There's four. You're not just bending over because your shoulders are back. Your hips are pushed back. There's six. It really is butt work. There's seven. I know you feel it in your hamstrings. I always feel it in my hamstrings too. But it's your glutes driving the motion. Eight of them done. Squeeze to go back. Squeeze to pull forward. There's nine. Push and pull. That one's 10. Awesome, check us out. There's 11, we are way over halfway done. And now you see why I have your thumbs holding on to that dumbbell. There's 12, so you're not squeezing your neck. Lucky number 13, rock star. Push those hips back, pull those hips forward. 14, as you get tired, because trust me, my back and shoulders are totally feeling this. 15. Still thinking about keeping your elbows out, thinking about keeping your back super straight. There's 16. The only way to keep your back straight is by keeping your abs pulled in. There's 17, we're almost there. And forward, actually no, back and forward. <laughs> There's 18. Push those hips back and forward. That's 19. Check us out. That's 20, awesome job. All right, you guys, come on down on the ground. Coming up next, 
a little something I love called Russian twists. Russian twists are honestly one of my favorite exercises in the whole wide world. You can make them easy, you can make them hard. I'm gonna make them hard today and we're gonna go kind of fast. This is another one that counts the mean way. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell long way so that I can tap it on the ground. I'm gonna pick up my feet, tap and tap. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 10, 11, good twist in your spine, lucky 13, 14, 15, holding your balance, there's 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh, thank goodness. That's why we did those the speedy way. Sometimes when I do Russian twists, I make you go up overhead. You're welcome, I know. <laughs> Coming up next, we're gonna get in a plank position. Yes, we are at the end of my list and that means things got tough. These are renegade rows. We're gonna get in a plank position. You can be on your knees or on your hands, either, or excuse me, on your toes, either one. You're gonna row it up and put it back down. One on each side is one. Keep your hips nice and neutral the whole time. There's two. That's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. That's seven. There's eight. There's nine. That's 10. There's 11. There's 12. 13. 14. 15, 16, yes, I'm grunting, 17, these got tough, you are tougher, there's 18, almost there, landing that hand exactly where it started, there's 19, that one is 20, excellent, excellent job, oh my gosh. You guys, we are done, but we're not quite finished. I have one final thing for us. Now that we are have our heart rate elevated, we're gonna work on balance just a little bit. It's just one more exercise, a little something I call star balance. So again, that weight goes up overhead. We're gonna have our feet just about hip width apart. We're gonna tip one way and come back and tip the other and back, this is a tiny motion. You can see, I'm not tipping very far. That's as far as my balance can take me. You might be able to go farther. If you can, please do. There we go. And three, yes, I'm counting this the mean way. And up. There's four, awesome job. And up. There's five. You feel every muscle in pretty much your entire body working? I know. There's six. And up. More grunting. There's seven. And up. There's eight. There's nine. Awesome job. There's 10, arms are getting shaky, abs are getting shaky. That's why this is the finisher. There's 11, you are doing so good. And up, there's 12, staying strong. I know you wanna put your arms down. We're going to, in just a little bit, 
Lucky 13. And up. Using those abs and obliques, there's 14. And up. And glutes, obviously, there's 15. You know, I'm not really thinking about my glutes right now because I feel it so much in my abs and my arms. There's 16. I bet my booty's gonna feel it later, though. There's 17. You are so close to being done. Actually, no, we were already done. <laughs> that was 18. You are so close to being finished because that's 19. And that means one more here and one more there and 20 arms. Oh, come down. Oh my goodness. What a great, great job you did. And now, and now you can go for a run, right? <laughs> now, now you can be done with strength training for at least a couple more days. I really hope you had a good time with this one. If you did, I would love it if you'd give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for working out with me. I'll see you next time.